Well, hello, this is Shackley Senior Master Coordinator Jennifer Glack, and I thought I would talk today a little bit about residual income. You've probably heard of royalty income before, and you probably know some artists who are no longer with us. I always, I'm a little bit older than some of you, so I always think back to, let's say, Michael Jackson, Elvis, the Beatles, some of those folks, and their estates make more money now than they did when those people were alive and performing. You might ask, well, how? Well, sales of um, royalty on the every time somebody plays their music, um, baseball caps, t-shirts with their images on there. Their estates make more money now than they did when those folks were alive and performing. So when you're talking about a Shackley business, you've probably heard it described as a penny doubled every day. And so let me explain that and then we'll dive into a Shackley example. So a penny doubled every day. If you take a penny and you know, day number two, it's two cents, day number three, it's four cents. By the end of 30 days, you have over $5 million. Now, if you just decided to double that penny every other day, it ends up being around $163. Big, big difference. So first off, consistency of effort makes a huge difference, but it's really about that compounding effect, compounding day after day after day of growth. So in a Shackley world, that's really about the number of directors you have on your team, the leaders you've built in your organization. It's not about customers. And I get in this discussion with so many leaders, they're like, well, gosh, I've had customers for years and years, so that's my residual income. No, um, your customers don't buy Shackley because they're building something for their future like your distributors and your sales leaders do. Your distributors and sales leaders have a dream of their own. They're building a business, building a team, building an organization for their family dreams and for their personal dreams. A customer buys because they like the products and they're loyal to the products, which is fantastic. However, if you sold your Shackley business, Shackley would determine the worth of that business based off of the royalty and the overrides that you're getting on all of your sales leaders and your personal group volume and your customer base is not included in that equation. Ask me how I know. Well, I've had my business evaluated by Shackley, so I know exactly how that works. And they look at the royalty or the override income on all your sales leaders. So hopefully this has sparked a little thought for you. If you're building a Shackley business, you're building a Shackley team, it's really about developing directors and having those directors develop directors. It's about building an organization in width and in depth and really more so in depth than anything else because you, the wider you go, the more challenging it is to work with all those moving pieces. So start first with a couple of legs, build those in depth, make them strong, make them deep, and then you can continue to grow with. Have an awesome Shackley day.